Welcome back to EDU at 90. Today, we'd like to share some exciting updates we've made to Google Workspace for Education across classroom, docs, and more. Let's start with Google Classroom, where we've added new tools to help make learning more personal. Practice Sets uses AI to help educators transform their existing teaching content into interactive assignments and provide more personalized support. Students will receive helpful hints if they get stuck, and educators can see insights on student progress. This feature and more will be available for Teaching and Learning Upgrade and Education Plus users. For more information, check out the link in the video description. Next up, we'd like to share some improved collaboration features we're adding to Google Docs to help you get more done and better engage your students. You can use custom building blocks to create templates for content you make frequently, like lesson plans and curriculum guides. Keeping track of class activities will also be easier with timer and stopwatch chips, keeping track of how much time is left or how long a certain exercise took. And you'll be able to gather feedback from your students directly in Docs with voting chips. These updates will be available for Education Plus users. Check out the link below to learn more. Finally, we're building flexibility and accessibility into improvements for Google Slides and Meet. When presenting in Meet, students and educators will now be able to see speaker notes, helping build presentation skills and confidence. When co-presenting in Slides, two or more people can manage slides together, including advancing slides and playing videos for a smoother presentation. And lastly, you can now add closed captions to Meet recordings in English, French, German, Portuguese, and Spanish. These improvements are available for Teaching and Learning Upgrade and Education Plus users. That's it for today's episode. Be sure to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel to stay in the loop for future ones. We'll see you next time. Check out our last episode to hear updates to Chrome, Screencast, Cast Moderator, and more.